Hello everyone. Today we'll be talking about the differences in the PCB on the Radio Master Ranger Micro Module. I've just received my replacement PCB labeled version 1.6 and I wanted to have a closer look at what it is that they have actually changed on this PCB. I wasn't sure what the differences were but um, having a closer look reveals that, well at least on the front side, there are no visible differences. All the components seem to be the same. If we flip the module around, we can see that most of the stuff is the same. In fact, all the components are identical. I've compared them and they are identical. The only difference that we can see is in this area here and this area here. So let's have a look at what the mistake was in the old one. And I'm sure that many of you already know this or have maybe taken this apart, but for those of you that have not taken it apart yet, the mistake is essentially that this pin here is a 5 volt supply pin coming from the radio. And unfortunately, it has been incorrectly connected to the battery plus terminal from the XT30 connector. That then connects to this component here, which is labeled SS34. And according to Google, that's a shot key diode. So obviously you can see the problem because if you connect an 11.1 or greater battery, something like a 3S fully charged, then you're feeding 12.6 volts or whatever directly into the 5 volt line on the radio. And that's almost certainly going to cause some damage internally to your radio and maybe the module itself as well. I don't know about that. I haven't tried it and I don't think I will. If we have a look at the new replacement motherboard that Radio Master have provided, we can see that this component, SS34, is still there. The only difference is that it has been rotated by 90 degrees clockwise in this position, as well as the fact that they have most likely used the CNC router to cut the trace on the PCB. We can see that, you know, this, this is quite a, a reflective sharp cut right there and there. And that's most likely done by a CNC machine. They've left enough of a gap. This is um, approximately one and a half millimeters or more maybe. So there's no way to cause a spark between, like a spark gap between these two. And where we had the battery plus label is where they've scraped off the black solder mask in order to connect essentially this pin here to that pin there. Everything else has remained the same. Um, there's no other changes as far as I can see. So I think this is something that we can do, or at least I can do, and I'm sure that many of you will be attempting to do on your original PCBs because it'll be a shame to just throw it away just because of that or to just use it with the internal power just because of this issue. I'm going to try and figure out if there is another way to fix this or if there is a better way and I might make another video in the future so stay tuned but I hope that this video was useful enough for you so that you can see what the differences actually are and if you want to attempt to fix your original PCB then all you have to do is make sure you cut this trace here and then you can take that component, rotate it and solder it somewhere here so that it's making a good connection between this point and that point once it's rotated. So that's it. I hope you find this video useful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.